This puppy was in for a surprise when this tiger cub came up to him. Out in the wild, a story like this one wouldn't be possible. But life at the, the farm in wildlife sanctuary, in Africa is different. Animals there are best buddies, and this includes the happiest couple out there, Hunter and Chelsea. Hunter is a tiger cub who needed a friend when his mother wouldn't like him around. So, the staff members there had to improvise. Little did they know that Chelsea the German short-haired pointer pup would turn out to be his BFF. Wait until you see all of their photos. Your heart will definitely melt. A three-month-old tiger cub really needed a friend, or else he would get the blues. Chelsea was only four months old too and was looking for a playmate. That's when these two guys first met. When Hunter set his eyes on Chelsea, it was love at first sight. Even though she wasn't a tiger cub, Hunter wouldn't stop following her everywhere. You won't believe what happens next. It really was meant to be. Hunter and Chelsea struck such a bond, that everyone at the sanctuary knew that these guys wouldn't like to stay away from each other. Wherever the pup was, the tiger cub would appear. He even did this. Taking the puppy for a walk involved also taking the tiger on a leash. Chelsea and Hunter grew up together, played, cuddled and ran every day. And everyone visiting the place was in awe of the pair. Hunter was born at the farm and wildlife sanctuary in Pretoria, South Africa. But his mother started to treat her baby too aggressively, so Anthea Michelitos took the cub to look after him. Then, this happened. The rejected tiger cub finally got a friend in Chelsea who was only three weeks older than him. Anthea Michelitos is a 22-year-old student and takes care of them both. This is what she said about them. Anthea said that they think, Hunter was born at a time when the female must have felt compromised in some way as she rejected him. That's why they had to take Hunter away from her. Her actions toward him were threatening his survival so we intervened for the greater of his well-being, explained Anthea. But Hunter felt lonely without his mother and a sibling by his side. Then he met Chelsea. When Hunter met Chelsea, it was like getting a sister. He almost had the same experiences as he would have with other tiger cubs. They'd play and nap all day long. And when Chelsea woke up in the morning, she would do this. In the mornings when I take Chelsea out, she will run to his cage and greet him, said Anthea. And then she started explaining how charming they are when they play. It's like a wrestling match. Anthea said that whenever they start playing, there is a lot of wrestling involved, Chelsea pushes him over and then he jumps on her. Hunter learned a lot from Chelsea, as he didn't have a tiger sibling to learn how to interact with his siblings. Chelsea is a litter sister, even though she's not the same species. These guys are inseparable, and Chelsea even taught the tiny predator how to hunt. The tiger cub also has his own instinct. Hunter sleeps outside the house in his own cage. When Chelsea has to be separated, she gets sad. Anthea said that Hunter's relationship with Chelsea is helping him play and interact, the same way that he would with another litter mate. Sometimes, the wild kitty likes to stalk Chelsea and race her in the grass. This relationship is so special, and it wouldn't have existed in the wild. Hunter is fortunate to have a playful companion. These guys are just adorable. We already melted when we saw them cuddling together. And when Anthea tells them it's time out, Chelsea keeps waiting for the fun to start again. Here's what she said. When I say okay, playtime is over and I put Hunter away she'll go stand there for at least 5 minutes, wagging her tail, said Anthea. She then continues explaining that Chelsea is not done playing, and waiting for Anthea's approval. It's almost like she's saying no, I'm not done playing. I have to wrangle her back to the house, said Anthea. Well, we now understand that Chelsea is quite a persuasive pup, and knows how to handle a wild kitty. Chelsea is having the time of her life and Hunter is more than happy to join in on the romp. However, their time as babies is going to end soon, and fun time will be over. Anthea explains why. If he does get Chelsea down, I do get a bit worried because he goes for the throat. But, she never cries, she cries immediately when she's in discomfort and wriggles around, said Anthea. Nonetheless, the pair will have to be separated in three months. When both the kitty and the pup grow older and reach teenage years, they will have to say goodbye. Both of them will play too aggressively, says Anthea, six months will be enough for them, that's when they start to play too hard. The last update was of the pair being separated. But Chelsea got another tiger friend, and she's like a mommy to him, 